you want to get there as quickly as you can. In trauma patients especially, we have something called a golden hour. The clock on that hour starts when the trauma happens. It should end with you already in the hospital. So you have a greater chance of living if you get here quicker. And that is the whole purpose behind the helicopter transport service. In central PA, that helicopter is this helicopter, Penn State Hershey's Lifeline. Chief pilot Doug Turk's in charge here. This is, uh, it's a AS-365 N3 twin engine helicopter. It's like he said that before. <laughs> Funny you should say that because we do tours all the time. A team of up to four people are working to save your life on board Lifeline. But a disturbing trend has been making headlines in the medical helicopter field. People are dying. Not in the air, on the ground, in crashes. Medical helicopter crashes have killed more than 40 people in the past three years. It's a tragedy. Um, it's, it's especially uh, uh, difficult to, uh, to take when you see that there was a clear um, way to avoid that tragedy. You need to be operating in an aircraft uh, that has the required equipment. Turk will tell you visibility is the main concern for any pilot. Much of the equipment on board Lifeline is designed to help in even the worst conditions. That white dot this is actually an airplane. It's an aircraft that's 2,300 feet above us um, and right now is over the Susquehanna River. Without a doubt, the outfitting and the equipment uh, contained in our aircraft, along with the uh, pilot uh, uh, capabilities and training and so forth, are probably the number one reason why uh, Lifeline has been flying accident incident free for 25 years. And that's just it. 24,000 patients safely treated and transported over the past quarter century. What's happening elsewhere is not happening here. I don't consider it to be a, a dangerous line of work. As long as, uh, you know, you're properly equipped, you're properly trained, and you have the correct uh, priorities, 